Spring is just around the corner and the cherry blossom season is coming soon. And cherry blossom season is definitely one of the best seasons to visit Japan. Fall town is fulfilled with the cherry blossom's pink color and also people come out to the outdoor to enjoy. So every region is fulfilled with a festive atmosphere. It's a great season but at the same time it's difficult for international travelers to visit Japan on the exact cherry blossom season because cherry blossom season is very short either one week or two weeks so in this video i'd like to go over the when and where you can enjoy cherry blossom this year based on the forecast updated from the weather companies in japan but i also understand you cannot exactly travel on the cherry blossom season because you have work and other reasons so i also would like to go over in case you wait a little too early or too late where you can enjoy and how you can enjoy it the spring travel with cherry blossom still. Every year, the weather companies in Japan issue the Sakura Zensen, which means cherry blossom front line, can, with the map of the whole Japan. And this used to be issued by Japan Met Meteorological Agency. Nowadays, different weather companies are issuing the cherry blossom front lines information, like weather news. And for this cherry blossom front line information called Sakura Zensen, one specific species of cherry blossom called Somei Yoshino is used as a measure because every cherry blossom species has a little different time to kind of bloom. So this Somei Yoshino is a key tree in Japan, except Hokkaido, Okinawa, and some southern island of Kagoshima prefectures. And in 2023 last year, the blooming date was March 14th in Tokyo and March 20th in 2022 and this year they're expecting March 20 or 22 depending on the weather companies and in the Kyoto the forecast is in between March 22nd to 25th and when they say the blooming date the buds just open so it's not the best time to see the cherry blossoms and usually the best time comes like one week after that or a little more later so let me show you some example from last year. So last year in Tokyo, March 14th was a blooming date. And this picture was taken in March 27th in Asakusa. So 13 days after this full blooming date came. So this, I think the cherry blossom lasts only two or three days after this. So this was really close to the end. But for the cherry blossom, usually towards the end is more beautiful. But it really depends on the year because sometimes, I think last year was a little cold after the cherry blossom bloomed, so it lasted long. But sometimes when it's very warm, it goes actually very quickly. It blooms and kind of becomes full soon and kind of gone. And I headed to Kyoto after this last year, and for Kyoto, the March 17th was the blooming date last year. And these videos were taken on March 30th and 31st. So last year was really early and this year seems a little bit later. So probably the week you don't fail for sure is March 25th and also for Kyoto maybe three to four days after that. But all of these are just expectation and forecast so, so we don't know how it turns out. So it might be better just to kind of relax and have some other ones in the itinerary if possible trying to enjoy exploring different places how the cherry blossom is and now let's go over where is the best place to see cherry blossom in Tokyo and some other parts of Japan and each place is have a little different characteristic and how you can enjoy so let me explain quickly and first one the must visit place is the Shinjuku Kyoen National Garden and this place has lots of different kind of cherry blossom trees and the best thing is it has a lot of spaces so you can bring leisure seat you can bring lots of lunch box and teas and you can enjoy the time under cherry blossom trees. It's also really have a great access from central Tokyo, which is why walking distance from Shinjuku station. So this is the place I recommend. But something you might want to know about Shinjuku Kyoen is they don't allow alcohol drink. This is not a park and it's kind of like a garden. So it's not allowed to do any sports and drinking alcohol. But otherwise, it's a really great place. And I'll, I can say best place to enjoy cherry blossoms. The only one thing is Shinjuku Gyoen last year asked for the reservation for weekend visitors. So this year they are planning the same. You need a reservation if you are visiting in 
March, April weekend. So I recommend you to check their website. And in case you like to have alcohol drink and more easy going place and without any kind of entry fee, the best place to go is Yogi Park. Yogi Park is uh, probably cherry blossom is not as beautiful as Shinjuku Gyo and National Garden, but, but you can enjoy drinking and you can walk around. Oh, this might be more in case you want to have a kind of party and drink alcohol with lots of different people. That would be a great place. And this will be maybe typical style of cherry blossom scene that we say hanami. But when it comes to the park, not all parks are like that. And good example is Ueno Park. Ueno Park is a super popular place for cherry blossom. But actually, Ueno Park is not kind of the park that have lots of grasses area. So there's no place to put a leisure seat and you can enjoy drinking. It's, they have lots of benches along the kind of little path and you can enjoy the lunch if you can find the bench. So in Ueno, you more walk through under the trees and enjoy the beautiful cherry blossoms. But Ueno is a really great place to enjoy cherry blossom too because they have kind of pagodas and temples, so it really matches with the scenery of the cherry blossom. And they also have a pond called Shinobazu Ike, and you can enjoy the boat there, either a pedaling boat or a kind of regular boat. And Seeing the cherry blossom from the pond on the boat is amazing experience and I like doing it. When it comes to the boat, another place you can enjoy boat is Chidori Gafuchi by the Imperial Palace. And this place is another super famous spot for cherry blossoms. The cherry blossom tree is very big and really amazing kind of beautiful trees. And you can enjoy the walking through and also enjoy the boat from the moat of the Imperial Palace. Seeing cherry blossom in the city is great, but it's also breathtaking to see the cherry blossom in the countryside too. And probably one of the most popular spots is near Mount Fuji and Asakurayama Sengen Park, which is also known as Chureto. And this place you can see the Japanese style pagodas, cherry blossoms and Mount Fuji, everything together. Can't be more Japanese than this. It's all cherry blossoms, so it must be very beautiful in the springtime. And around Mount Fuji, there are lots of spots that you can see Mount Fuji and cherry blossom together. But the only thing is, it's sometimes it's difficult to get around by bus and public transportations because there is a bus running, but sometimes they don't have enough frequency and you have to wait so long and you have to worry if you can get back to Tokyo in time. So in that kind of case, something you might want to consider is a bus tour. For the bus tour, they take you to different places that are difficult to access by public transportation. So it's especially recommended when you go to the different parts of Japan or somewhere outside the city center. And the good side that you can choose from different selections of the day trip tour is uh, today's sponsor, Kruk. And Kruk is a uh, reading kind of portal or website in Asia and in Japan it's getting big too. Recently I went to Timura Borderless so the site is also sponsored by Kruk so you can book through the Kruk site or official site for the Timura Borderless and their day trip tour is already competitive but for the viewers of this channel they made a special code called Tokyo Kenchan 15 so you can get 15% off from the price shown in Kuruk site. So 15% is, I think it's a really good deal. So let's see what kind of the tour is available and let me show you how you can use the site either from website or application and redeem the coupon. This year, Kuruk made a special page called Cherry Blossom Madness and this is the full blooming date. In Tokyo is March 29th, Kyoto March 31st. If you come to Japan a little late, you can see Cherry Blossom in Aomori, April 23rd. And if you go down the page, you see the list of the tours. For example, if you click from Tokyo, this one, Mount Fuji and Lake Kaguchi Scenic Spot Day Tour. So let's see where it takes you to. Depends on the what you choose, the price changes. With Japanese lunch set is 77 and steak set is 91. Let's choose Japanese lunch for now and it takes you to Asakurayama Sengen Park that I've just mentioned as Chureito 
and Kanuchiko Craft Park that we will have lunch and Oish Park and Saiko Iyashi no Sato. So these are the places that I get the question often how to get there. But it's really difficult to go all the places at once because most Japanese people go by car and so unless you have a rental car, it's a little difficult to get around everything by public transportation. So it's really great that they take you to these places. So these are included English speaking guide, lunch, and lunch rate transfers, entrance fee too. And so the, there's a guide and they purchase for you and they give you tickets. So you don't have to wait in the line even in busy season. In Tokyo, they live from Shinagawa or Shinjuku Station. So let's choose uh, the 16th. A little too early, but this green means the uh, departure confirmed, which means there are enough people who are applying for this date. And let's do two people and total $155. I put a discount code for my channel Tokyo Kenchan 15 If you type this one here in this code and click redeem, this will automatically apply. It's minus 23 US dollars and total 132 US dollars for two adults, including lunch and transfers. You can also see kind of different places from Osaka. You have a tour from Kyoto and Nara too. So if you are staying in Japan during this period, please check the Kuruk website and use the coupon of the Tokyo Kenchan 15 when you purchase. For individual travelers, it's a fun part of the travel is to make reservation and to plan, but uh, sometimes it's tiring that you have to do for everything. It might be a good idea to put some day trip tour and you can let the tour agencies handle your schedule. So you can just sit on the seat and talk to your friends or family. If you're by yourself, you can just look out the window and they take you to different places that probably you wouldn't even choose if you are traveling by yourself sometimes. So it gives some variety to what you see and experience in Japan. And also you don't have to worry about missing the bus stop that you have to get off or, and you don't have to walk around hungry forever like looking for a good restaurant. So and day trip tours or activities a really good idea to add to your travel itinerary, especially for individual tourists. Another popular spot for people in Tokyo is Meguro River. And Meguro River is a river going through the southwest side of Tokyo. So you can see from the different spot of the, along the Meguro River. And most popular spot is near the Nakameguro Station of Tokyo Toyoko Line and Tokyo Metro Hibiya Line. But my favorite spot is near Gotanda Station or Osaki Station. It's a little more quiet. So this area is a little long distance, but actually you can walk from Gotanda Station or Osaki Station to Nakameguro Station. So in, when the season comes, I'd like to show you as much as possible this year too. And when it comes to the river, there's a more big one called Sumida River in, near Asakusa. And that is also a great place to see cherry blossom. In Asakusa, you see both sides of the Sumida River, you see cherry blossom trees. On the Tokyo Sky Tree side, you can put a leisure seat and you can enjoy. On Asakusa side, you see Sensoji Temple and Pagoda and you see beautiful scenery with cherry blossom with traditional buildings and traditional scenery. And where you can see cherry blossom is of course not just Tokyo and around. So let's go to see other parts of Japan and also what if you are visiting before the peak season or after the peak season. And somewhere you cannot miss during the cherry blossom season is Kyoto. And some place I recommend is the Media Temple near Kyoto. Technically it's not in the Kyoto city but it's in the Shiga Prefecture and it's very close from Kyoto. Even though so many, so many international tourists and Japanese people too in that area, in Kyoto side, really didn't see any international tourists. So probably not many people come this way, but uh, it was a really amazing, breathtaking view of the cherry blossoms. So I recommend Midera Temple. This is kind of the place I want to take everyone I like. Last year I made this video looking for the spot or the time that I can avoid the tourists. And another thing, the great idea was the going to Kiyomizu Temple in early morning. And I could see the Kiyomizu Temple with Huru cherry blossom without almost anybody. This place was in residential and not that a big area, so I don't know if I recommend to go all the way for everyone. But um, it was a really, actually great place to hang around, and especially when you are tired to the big crowd of people. But of course, 
uh, if you're visiting Kyoto for the first time, I think it's a good idea to go to the touristy spot. And that is something you cannot avoid. And basically, any temple has a beautiful cherry blossom trees, from Kiyomi's temple, Nanzen's temple. And this area is amazing in cherry blossom time. And also, at night, this Gion Shirakawa, kind of along this river, it was super, super beautiful for cherry blossoms. So basically, wherever you go, you don't fail in Kyoto, but just be prepared for the big crowd of people. And when you go to Kyoto, there's a one website I recommend you, and that is a site called Soda Kyoto Eko by JL Central. This site is only in Japanese, but this is a really great site that it has all the list of different temples and how the cherry blossom situation is right now. You can see the or condition of the cherry blossom. It's already blooming or full bloom. If you read Kyoto a little bit late, oh, this temple has still has lots of cherry blossom, and you can see that. If you click the name of the temple like this, you can see the detail of the temple comes up, and you can see the map, so you can find out. So this might be a little bit intimidating as it's all in Japanese, but uh, they have the full version for autumn leaves too. So this is a must bookmark site if you are going to Kyoto. So they have lots of different temples that are not famous too. So you might be able to find some off the trolley spot or hidden gems of Kyoto. And now let's see what if you beat Japan too early, like in early March. So in that case, you might not be able to see cherry blossom, but the good idea is to change the species of the cherry blossom, and that is the Kawazu cherry blossom. So Kawazu cherry blossom was born in Kawazu in Izu Peninsula, and last year I made this video that uh, I went to see the cherry blossom tree of, in Kawazu, so please check if you are interested in it. So this Kawazu cherry blossom starts mid-February and continues to the early March, so you can see longer than the other cherry blossom trees. And so it's a must kind of watch cherry blossom trees if you come visit Japan early. So usually cherry blossom trees colors are very close to the white like this in Japan, but colored cherry blossom has a more strong kind of pink color. So for some people, it might be more the close to the image of cherry blossoms. I'm in Shinjuku Central Park and there are some colored cherry blossom behind me. And every year this cherry blossom bloom very early. But it's February 10th today and looks like some buds are opening, but not yet. I only see one or a few buds are opening. So maybe in one week or two weeks, it will be full with pink cherry blossoms, of colored cherry blossoms. And last year when I posted a cherry blossom video, more question was about April. So in that case, good area to go is Tohoku area. And Tohoku has a little more colder, so the cherry blossoms bloom later and the, and the famous spot is the Hirosaki Castle. They are expecting April 15th as a blooming date. So the peak will be more later. So they are having the cherry blossom festival in Hirosaki from April 19th to May 5th. So if you are visiting Japan mid-April or late April, this Hirosaki might be one of the good places to visit for cherry blossoms. And for me, seeing cherry blossom is putting leisure seat on the ground and enjoy hanami. And you can do the same to indulge yourself more into the spring of Japan. The good idea is to get the food and leisure seat. Leisure seat you can get at convenience store or kind of wahani yen shop sometimes. Of course you can bring from your home too, but uh, you can put the leisure seat. You can get ekimen at Tokyo Station too. But the good idea is to get that uh, good kind of bento box at department store. And again, what to know is uh, some places have drinking policy, and some places you cannot put leisure seat. And something you might want to know is cherry blossom season can be still very chilly at night. So it might be always helpful to carry some light blanket or coat or jacket that you can put on you. So in daytime, it can be very warm because of the sunlight, but it can be quickly cooler or cold and in the evening after sunset. So it's always good to have something to put on, even for men. And for last year, I went to Kawazu and Kyoto, but the train was full booked to Kawazu already when I tried to go, and many hotels are full booked when I tried to go to Kyoto. In case you have certain places that you like to visit, I recommend to make reservation early 
and guarantee you can your spot. So that is my spring update video. So I hope you have a great spring trip. Thank you for watching and thank you Kuruk for sponsoring this video. Have a great trip to Japan. Have a good weekend in the next video.